there friends, it's Kim Byers of TheCelebrationShop.com and today I'm going to share with you how you can take your own designs or designs like mine, my Valentine here, and upload those into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so before we move over to Cricut Design Space, I want to talk to you for a minute about your designs. So I've been designing for my readers for a really long time, um, but I've always designed and then uploaded everything as a PDF. So it's very easy for people to download. Um, I try to keep the cuts very simple so that people can you know, cut it out with a pair of scissors or a straight edge. But then along comes Cricut Design Space. And for all my Cricut readers, now I can actually give you the same card, which is a one-dimensional card, cute, but a one-dimensional card. And I can actually give this to you now as a two-dimensional card. So I'm going to still give you this flat card, which is a five by seven, um, but we're gonna upload it into Cricut Design Space and then you can resize it to be anything you want. Um, and then I'm actually gonna give you the layers so that you can make it a really fun two-dimensional card. So these are all the elements that's going to also get uploaded into Design Space. And this is what the PDF version looks like for my readers that are going to be using their scissors. But if you had a Cricut, the one that you're going to download from the blog is actually going to have one of each of these elements, not three. And you're going to be able to um, upload those into the system and then you can duplicate those as many times as you want. But it's going to do the intricate cuts for you so you're not trying to go around this with a pair of scissors. Okay, so now I've deleted off my logo and the other things that would be on the PDF version. And this is just the, the design itself. And um, if you notice, if I click on it here, there it, go. there it is. So the card itself is still there, but I've turned that line into a white line or actually um, just made it not a line at all because I want it, when it to come into Cricut Design Space, I want um, the system to recognize that it's a cut, but I don't want it to be like grayed or anything because then Cricut Design Space is going to you know, print that and you would have to go through the whole process of trying to delete that line. But now the cut is there, but the line itself is not. Um, and the other cool thing about this is because I'm giving you the layers, if you wanted to put it on a scalloped card or something else, you could do that too. So let me show you how to save it. So you're just gonna go up to File, and you're going to go down to Save for Web. And when this window opens, you have different choices. Um, so if you wanted to do a PNG, which is what I typically do, a PNG 24, and then I come down to width and I will make this 4,000 because I want it to be as large as possible for you guys to be able to size and not have any you know, issues whenever you pull it in. And then you're gonna hit save and it's going to um, do its magic. Adobe Illustrator is gonna do the magic, but then you're going to hit save again when this is done and put it somewhere in your computer that you want it to live. Um, and then that's where we'll grab the file and upload it into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so now we're on the homepage of Cricut Design Space. And so you see there's lots of Valentines, lots of different projects to pick from and choose from. But today we're going to upload our own project. So we're going to go over to Create New Project. And you'll see along the side, Insert Images, Upload Images, Insert Shapes. We're going to upload. Now what we are doing is an image, not a pattern today. So upload an image, browse our computer. So there's two different files, right? We have the um, card itself and then we have the layers. So what I'm going to do is upload the card first. And you'll see when you bring it up, it's going to give you some options. It's going to show you your card and then it's going to say simple, moderately complex or complex. And this one honestly is simple because to Cricut, it's really just a rectangle. So we're gonna go ahead and collect, um, select simple and then continue. Okay, to save time, I went ahead and did the same process with our layered elements. 
And so it's brought those in. And I wanted to show you that the next screen that you're going to see is this screen. And Cricut is actually giving you an opportunity to select and erase anything if there were, you know, extra some things around the graphic that you didn't want imported into Cricut. Um, so you'd be able to go up and take um, to select and erase something. Um, but we don't want to erase anything, so we're just going to move on. Okay, so this is the next screen you're going to come to. And so Cricut is um, giving you the option of saving the image as a save as a print then cut image or saving it as simply a cut image. So you notice on the cut side, you lose all of the graphic design. I mean, it's literally just shapes. There's use for this. I mean, you may um, want to import this and use just the shapes. But for today, we're going to keep the, the designs and then over on the far side, you're going to see that you're able to give this a name. It's just brought it in as the name that I named the file as. Um, in tags, I've added my name. I always do that just so I can see mine easiest. But you have to remember because you have um, uploaded this, you are not, um, it's not gonna be public. No one else is gonna see it except you. So whenever you go and search Cricut for Kim Byers after this video is done, you're going to see tons of graphics that I've done for Cricut, but you're not going to see this one because it's private. Um, it's uploaded by the user, which is me. Okay, so now that you've uploaded both designs, you can see them here, you simply add them like you would any other graphic in Design Space, Insert Images. And it brings them into your blank canvas. So then you can bring your card up and resize it any way you want. Just be sure that when you do your resizing that you um, make sure that one of these lines up with the appropriate piece on the card and then all the others will be the same size as well. You don't have to worry about um, doing each individual one. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy the freebie and I'll see you in the next video.